i burnt one body um, with plastic we are going to become world's largest blood donor community by end of my walk there are going to be possibly five or six guinness world record we are going to break we don't even have 15 rupees in our pocket my own blood was sold to a family there is a huge uh, corruption going on because of the demand and supply gap every person who have been successful overnight that overnight comes after so many dark nights Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Inspirational Interviews. Welcome everyone who is watching this live or offline. I am so so excited to have our next guest in this particular interview, and we also have a special announcement towards the interview end of the interview. So stay tuned. Let me help welcome a person who is on a mission to end any kind of death in India due to lack of due to lack of blood. by 31st of december 2025 a person who is a founder of organization called simply blood chief serving officer of change with man one meal one of the linkedin power profile of 2018 help me welcome kiran verma kiran welcome to the show thank you so much thank for joining us thank you so much hadeesh Yeah, I, I I was going through your profile uh, in LinkedIn. I'm I'm a great fan of you doing all the stories, all the pictures, and I'm really really amazed. So thank you so much. Thank you jo- for joining us. I know it took a bit of time for us to get settled on the time and all, and I know you are you are so much busy and you are helping so so much of humanity. So thank you so much for taking out town ta- taking out time out of your busy schedule and being with me and and with the audience today. I'm all yours. I'm all really hard, Haritosh, and I'm really sorry for being late. No worries, no worries. Thank you so much. So, uh, can you tell us a bit about yourself? What has been your journey? What are things you have done, and how it had how had it been? And uh, then we'll go on to a few more things. Yeah. So, uh, journey has been very exciting. Um, you know, it's it's, it's uh, a wonderful. Uh, to uh, work on different causes like uh, you know blood donation feeding people you know there are there are people who uh, actually you know um, um, uh, need our help who deserve our help uh, you know during this t- tough time and uh, i have been blessed that you know because of so many people support we could uh, help in such people uh, you know during the pandemic and, and beyond uh not just with blood but uh, with food with shelters with uh, you know clothing with sanitary napkins and so many other things so uh, i think i think uh, it's 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 an honor and blessings both uh, when you have so many people supporting you in your uh, mm-hmm. you know um, mission especially when when you are committing uh, more than a billion people that you know You, you, one problem of yours is going to be solved by a particular date it's uh, not easy to carry that uh, thing on on your shoulders and i have been very lucky that uh, because of so many people we we could uh, actually um, we could actually um, um, you know reach up to the level where where we are today that that's amazing amazing kiran so but let me take you a little bit in the past and how did this idea came to mind how did you know i i believe you were somewhere working in the corporate and then you uh, you know got this idea and moved to all this uh, work of you no know, humanity and and this ngo work so how did it all started what inspired you so uh, inspiration came when when i started donating blood on a regular basis uh when i i saw people in pain and you know because of their pain um you know i could i could change uh, many lives with my blood so i thought that you know blood donation is a very um, amazing thing and then we we should do it um till the time we are healthy and then we are fine uh later when i got to encounter one incident where i my own blood was sold to to a family i realized that you know uh, there is a huge uh, corruption going on because of the demand and supply gap mm-hmm. and because of that people are forced to you know do those things which we often don't uh, 
uh, considered to be uh, human so i thought that you know we are uh, i'm not going to um, i'm not going to sit like an ideal person and um, um, you know do that so i decided that i'm going to uh, you know solve this problem uh, by any means and uh, because of that i i i, I left my job uh, um, in 2016 december 2016 and i started simply blood after that that that's incredible and and kudos to you for taking this step in the right direction uh, and i'm pretty sure when you have started you it must have not been an easy ride for you uh, you must have faced a few difficulties or, or some special experiences so can you, you know tell us uh, uh, any of those experiences that that you can still uh, remember of those you no know, starting times or maybe something which is recent one also you can share with us so when i started uh, when i launched uh, simply blood in 2017 january so uh, what happened um, um, uh, my wife uh, uh, you know used to go to her office and uh, the day she was going to her office uh, she you know she realized that she is out of money on in his metro card and uh, she is getting uh, she was getting late uh, so she ended up uh, going into the queue for the metro ticket and uh, there she realized that she don't even have 15 rupees in her pocket and uh, wow. and uh, you know she collected few old 1 rupee 2 rupee 5 rupees uh, notes wow. um, since many years and uh, while crying she paid her uh, ticket um, you know on that day and she borrowed 50 or 100 rupees from her uh, friend in her office coming back home so that was a tough time um, i realized that you know uh, it happens when when you start anything are uh, different when you wanted to bring a positive change in our society you have to go through ups and downs of uh, you know it's a part of your journey right you cannot uh, uh, every person who have been successful overnight that overnight comes after so many dark nights so sure, you have sure. to uh, yeah so only that person experiences that uh, people don't uh, actually see that hurdle so um, today i am feel i feel blessed that you know uh, there are so many people who are supporting us uh, in our endeavor but uh, also uh, you know just because of that uh, tough phase i got to have more uh, empathy towards different people mm-hmm. uh, now now if you see that you know i don't uh, um, um, i don't have that uh, luxury or uh, you know um, that sort of uh, fancy lifestyle which i used to carry i used to party a lot i used to drink uh, i used to have you know um, uh, it was a different uh, kiran verma altogether what mm-hmm. you can see today but now you know i have uh, limited my needs uh, very very much i don't have that uh, lavish um, you know i there is no want in me there is mm-hmm. there are only needs uh, with me in my life and because of that i am able to you know sustain myself in a better way in a very controlled manner so now i feel that um, thankfully because of this cause i actually uh, got to realize true meaning of uh, um, you know things we need in life not those things like i have been using uh, 2007 esteem till now uh, which is going to expire in in september so you can imagine that you know this mm-hmm. is the uh, shift i have seen and i'm mm-hmm. i'm happy with that uh, car and and simple lifestyle and wearing the same t-shirt every day so i don't have to carry a different attire at all yeah. amazing amazing i'm really really uh, great uh, grateful that i'm doing this interview and learning about you more Uh, such a transforming story if i may say and, and 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 absolutely we need to distinguish between what is our need versus what is our desire or want and i'm i'm really really glad that you're doing so much uh, uh, while still fulfilling your need so uh, taking going away from want and helping uh, everyone uh, now 2016 to 2020 march uh, how did your life change uh, when the pandemic hit the country i know you have been doing a lot of work and that's one of the reason i we couldn't connect earlier 
what how was the life when the pandemic was on the top of on the on its peak and and you were doing a lot uh, both in wave 1 and wave 2 i know uh, so how how did it change your life and affected you so before pandemic i was i was just focused on blood donation and nothing more than that but uh, since i had uh, one uh, non profit in place already so uh, the day when when this uh, pandemic uh, this lockdown one was announced way back in march 2020 so i thought that you know i'm going to help out people uh, with food and provide food to the, the local um, you know slums uh, just uh, within within our our same sector so i thought that you know let's let's help them out and i started serving people uh, during that time and while serving them i got to realize that uh, there are many people who uh, you know there are girls who need sanitary pads while mm-hmm. uh, and it was a orphanage a girls hostel you, you would say uh, the area was conta- uh, containment zone so that is the reason people were not allowed to get inside so they had no access to sanitary pad and i was supposed to go in and deliver that so i went there while delivering it to them um, you know i also got to know that there is another uh, set of um, people who need uh, hygienic facility like they had uh, they were uh, defic- defic- you know um, open defecation was happening yeah. over there and um, you know they needed some hygienic uh, you know hygiene over there so i arranged for uh, some portable toilets over there uh, it was a, a night shelter for poor people um, while doing that i got to also saw that you know the cleaning is not happening over there so i distributed uh, a few soaps detergents you know uh, gloves masks and and these kind of things while while distributing that uh, somebody called me that you know since you are doing this uh, let's uh, do a drive at a one um, red light area where you know um, brothels are are uh, you know looking forward for health mm-hmm. and uh, uh, one red light area in delhi i got connected over there so th- that time i i was uh, asked to help those people uh, we distributed uh, you know dry ration over there to more than 800 uh, you know families mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. more than 2000 2000 people over there and um, it was a uh, more than a more than a month uh, drive i mean we 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 uh, you know fed almost like one and a half months for, to them um, also a community of uh, more than you know 2 2500 250 uh, 2500 uh, people uh, in my local community and we did so many things uh, during last lockdown since uh, you know after the lockdown there was no extra work uh, i was just focused on blood donation and in october 2020 i got to realize that you know there is a huge uh, uh, you know huge uh, um, problem has been created for the poor people who who were actually daily uh, li- surviving on daily wages kind of thing mm-hmm. so uh, Uh, and and right now they can either work which is not uh, so easy to get uh, or maybe you know i can i can start uh, you know feeding them so while feeding them i got to realize that you know feeding them free of course is not going to be a right way because uh, one thing that you know this it's not going to be a dignified way second thing they are also not going to respect it So mm-hmm. for that i i started uh, one outlet uh, where uh, we provide unlimited uh, meal complete meal for rupees 10 mm-hmm. and because of that uh, we started serving 200 people uh, initially in october 2020 and so far we have served more than 2 lakh people uh, since now and uh, we haven't stopped serving uh, at that outlet uh, even for a single day um not even a single day we missed out any meal um uh, and because of that uh, we created a, a special uh, you know pool of people who are very very much uh, you know emotionally and uh, psychologically and financially uh, supported by us 
and by mm-hmm. our initiative and and i feel so empowered so strong after going through all these things that uh, this year uh, when uh, when we you know uh, when we went through this second wave of um, corona uh, you know i was getting more than 2000 3000 calls every day for plasma for uh, you know yeah. vaccines for uh, different kind of uh, medicines and uh, you know i tried to answer most of the calls but of course not every call was mm-hmm. you know i was not able to uh, attend or answer every call but yes yeah. i tried uh, my best to answer all possible calls uh, i used to sleep only 2 or 3 hours uh, during this time but for two months i saw worst of worst in my life till date um, mm-hmm. i have uh, buried so many life, uh, you know bodies who were unattended um, um, i burnt one uh, uh, you know body um, with plastic you can imagine polythene we we had to burn because there was no wood left in wow. that area and the 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 cremation ground was asking for 30000 rupees i you know the family had no money and i was also not uh, you know cash rich to help that family so i decided that you know i'm going to burn that uh, at um, the you know yavana bank um, and there we we were out of uh, wood where we so this was a very complete transformation so i we saw you know worst in uh, you know we saw the worst so far and also we we saw a glimpse of hope as well among people where uh, people were willing to help us willing to support us just because we were standing by their side they were also taking into consideration to help more people uh, you know within their network or maybe you know around them so this is something uh, we have created a ripple effect in our society and community and this is something i i feel proud of that you know i mm-hmm. uh, i i am one of those mediums to you know do so that that's so hard touching to say i mean i mean uh, burning bodies with plastic i can't imagine and uh, Uh, i mean just to let you know my mother passed away on march 30th uh, just before the peak of the corona and i uh, fortunately i was in india back then but no, i i can't imagine losing a loved one and then not not being able to you know give them the proper closure a proper ending uh, this is heartbreaking uh, but as you said yeah, while lot of people showed their true faces showed their face of you no know, their cruel nature or something there were people uh, and i'm glad to be connected to, to a few people including you who really showed us the path of hope and you know, there is still humanity left there is still a lot of good and great people out there who are there to serve the community serve the nation so thank you for your services on behalf of all the people that you uh, helped and Uh, that you transformed their life uh, served in some uh, other capacity thank you so much uh, we really really appreciate that thank you so All right. much thank you uh it's so, okay then i was going through your bio and i, I saw there is one interesting thing that you do uh, to raise uh, awareness for blood donation and you have done it previously Uh, uh and it has potentially led to 25000 life saved and you are planning to do that again very very soon so do you want to uh, unlock the mystery for our audience today yeah so i am going to walk all across india uh, covering all states and union territory uh, for the blood awareness uh, so that we can we can uh, make a 1 million uh, blood donors community all across india uh to do so uh, why i'm walking because uh, walk is healthy for your body first of all it's mm-hmm. uh, free of cost of course you can walk free of cost to any extent right and third is uh, it's cheaper than car and you know carbon footprints are low, lower so, uh, while you walk and third thing people also get to see the pain behind it right mm-hmm. when you walk people understand the sincerity behind the cause right yeah. when you walk then people also uh, can join you of course in in a car it's it's not possible to accommodate too many people 
but yes while you're walking you you have open road and an open sky to join as many people as possible right so uh, and and you can shout out loud anywhere uh, you don't have to wait for people right yeah. so uh, and walking i think i think that is uh, uh, if you if you see you know every great movement whether it's uh, you know independence uh, uh, struggle of india whether it's uh, you know uh, uh, some sort of a marathon or or kind mm-hmm. of thing, whenever history was created right people have walked um, you know nice. miles the, you know that every walk means a lot mm-hmm. even to right so even to reach to, to space we have to walk to the uh, you know rocket of uh, you know yeah. even to right even to dive down in inside uh, the water you have to walk till the right. submarine so yeah. right so you 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 have to walk every time right uh, mm-hmm. crawling is only meant for 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 you know those who cannot do that but yes uh, if you walk then that's a very strong statement and um, walking all across india of course it's one of its kind and uh, certainly we are going to make world records uh, during this thing uh, there are going to be possibly five or six uh, guinness world record we are going to break or make uh, during this walk uh, and uh, hopefully we we are going to become uh, uh, world's largest blood donor community by end of my walk before end of my walk of course and uh, that is also going to uh create uh, m- you know uh, masses about our mission 31st december 2025 the mm-hmm. whole mission is just to make sure that you know i spend one and a half years here and rest two and a half years uh, remaining you are going to continue you know connecting more people to the cause so mm-hmm. that is what we are aiming to and let's see uh, what best we can do while i walk that that's so so great of you and i'm pretty sure you you'll be smashing all the world records much before you complete your work and more more than that i think you'll you'll become successful in your larger uh, vision which is to you know uh, take india away from the deprivation of blood donation and all i think that is a ma- more critical thing and i'm pretty sure you you'll do that my best wishes uh, to you and your team uh, you do so many things and i have uh, yeah sort of a question that no you you are so much involved in blood donation you are involved in change with one foundation change with one meal uh, don't you get uh, exhausted and if you then how do you recharge yourself uh just to recharge you know you need to connect with people because they are the real energy around you uh whenever whenever you wanted to get motivated whenever you are feel down you know just uh, hug your friends uh, you know mm-hmm. uh, kiss your kid uh, you know love your wife and you know just go around for no reason right just be yourself mm-hmm. uh, to recharge we are not machines to to get recharged we are human and uh, you know uh, we need uh, human connections to get mm-hmm. recharged actually sure. right so so from here we we of course get discharged sometimes yeah. uh, just because you know for to but uh, i love uh, working under pressure so whenever mm-hmm. i have a task in my hands i love to work during that time and uh, i focus more uh, during that time because you know i have to be more attentive to deliver one thing at a time so uh, right now i i i love this under pressure phase where i have to prepare uh, for my app i have to you know uh, work on my uh, walk i have to get permission from the different uh, departments and different ministries i have to make sure that you know i am up and fit and fine i am also losing my weight also you know my mm-hmm. uh, i'm increasing my stamina because that is very much important during the walk correct uh, i i you know uh, my ankle was injured uh, during my la- last walk um i am just getting one psychiatrist you know a physiotherapist where you know that person is looking after that psychiatrist is looking after my one of my friends actually uh, she is looking after my 
mental health you can say mindset yeah uh so there are so many things happening right now I, and i have to look after so many people who are being served every day i have yeah. to look after you know blood requests which are coming in every day so uh, you know doing so many things um, uh, in 24 hours i love this kind of pressure and uh, whenever i do i i make sure that you know i am taking care of everything um in best of my possibilities of course just like i i got delayed today you know no. but i love that you know i gave uh, that half an hour to a old uh, person uh, yeah. you know just to uh, give him some consul- you know console him or or uh, you know some sort of support uh, yeah. psychological or mentally so that he can uh, go through you know uh, he, that tough fi- tough time he is going through so uh, it happens i i i really uh, i i cannot say that you know it's it's very easy to do but yes uh, being under pressure and then managing so many tasks is is challenging and i love ch- challenging myself every day uh, amazing amazing so what i uh, two of the things one is that you know, when when you uh, uh love your work uh, it is no longer work uh, it is your passion and and it drives you it gives you the fuel that you need to and then yeah if you challenge yourself you probably will achieve anything that you can imagine at this point of time so amazing uh guys uh, i will be putting the uh, description of you know, how you can get connected with uh, kiran how you can donate to his cause uh, i'll be more than happy uh, will be more than happy to have him again please you know invite him to your talks and other things now as i said in the start i'm going to do the announcement and uh, and this is related to my book launch so uh, as i as in the start of launch of my book i said that now i'm going to be connected to uh, one uh, organization uh, which really helps serve this uh, so change is change with one meal is something that i really really love about kiran it is also related to lot of small town people coming to big cities and then having to struggle so you now this is me announcing that you now for every book that is sold on kindle we will be sponsoring two meals of change with one meal i know it takes about rupees 15 to sponsor a one person's meal over there and no uh, whatever i i do not care how many uh, copies are sold it's not for profit or money uh, but it's it's for the grand vision that kiran has and is get for the noble cause that kiran is doing i am announcing this and this is our collaboration hence forward uh, so anytime my book is uh, one of my book is sold it it will be uh, once the paperback version is uh, version comes up we'll probably be announcing few more collaboration and also i request and humbly request that you no know, please support this guy this guy is doing an amazing amazing job uh, please help him he has a vision he is a visionary leader i can see he, him changing lives he has changed 25000 plus lives already and he is on a mission to change million lives so please help and support him in the way, in the best way that you can uh, thank you so much kiran for joining me i know you have so many things going on but this, you still took time out of your busy schedule i'm so so grateful for that thank you so much harithosh uh, i'm really honored and humbled um, with your support i'm really thankful to you thank you so much so as i say every time until next time keep learning keep growing and keep going out of your comfort zone i'll be back with another guest but please help kiran verma in his dream in his vision thank you so much have a wonderful day ahead